So let us look at the result of the kind of learning technique we are discussing here. Here might be the old concept of a cup. In this particular case, this particular concept definition has been put in the form of a production rule. Here is the new concept definition for a cup. This is almost identical to the previous definition, except that now the object not only has a handle, but also the handle is fixed. This is similar in many ways to incremental concept learning. You may recall that in incremental concept learning, at any particular stage of processing, there was a concept definition. As new examples came, then the concept definition changed depending on the new example and the current concept definition. Note that in this method of concept revision, the number of features in this if clause may become very, very large very quickly. Here we have object has a handle and handle is fixed. We could keep on adding additional features. The interior is blue that cover all the positive experiences. The difficulty is, at the present time, there is no understanding for why the fact that handle is fixed is an important part of the cup definition. This requires an explanation. Why is it that the handle being fixed is an important part of the definition of a cup? This is one of the key differences between knowledge-based AI and other schools of AI. Classification is ubiquitous in many schools of AI, as we have discussed earlier. Explanation, however, is a key characteristic of knowledge-based AI. Explanation leads to deeper learning. It not only says here are the features that result in a concept definition, it also says, and here is why these features are important for the concept definition. This brings us to the second question in learning from failures. Now we want the agent to explain why a particular fault in its knowledge led to its failure. 